all right guys what's up welcome back to another video uh, if you saw yesterday's video this is pretty much part two of that video which is gonna be five things that i love about my corvette in particular which is just the way not like i said it's not about or like i said in the last video it's not about all corvettes just this particular corvette i'm not talking about all of them some of mine so it's just a quick little video have some fun with it standing over here because it's hot and shit outside getting the shade a little bit but we're going to talk about five things i love slash like about this corvette and if you want to see five things i dislike or check out yesterday's video i'll put the link right here go click on that and then come back to this one and watch this one so let's start off with number one all right for number one i gotta say i love how the c7 looks so aggressive it was much like a has a much meaner look to it compared to the C6 generation. I think the car looks really good. And I think not a lot of people can complain about that. I mean, I haven't heard too many people say that they don't like this car or that this car is ugly to them or whatever they say, whatever it might be. But overall, it's a pretty aggressive, nice looking car. Nice sharp angles, especially with the wrap that it has on here. You kind of see more of the body lines. You see more of the angles that it has. It really captures the body of it. And that's it. Just it's a nice looking car. Okay, for number two, things I really love or like about this car is the power plant itself. This is the base model version. It's not supercharged. It's the regular V8. It's slow as you can get, and it holds its own. And it's pretty damn quick for what it is. I mean. I never realized a stock car could be so quick, I guess you say, or fun, until I got into this one, honestly. I thought cars had to be fully modified, souped up, or gonna be cool and fun, but this car, you know, throws itself around, it has power. I mean, it's a consistent 12 volt power. Hopefully, we can click off an 11.9, which we might try out later this week. But, besides the point, it's a nice little car, it's pretty quick. I mean, you've seen the videos, taking down Mustangs left and right, Voltan, Star, whatever the fuck it is. Put those right here. Bitch, bitch, stitch, bitch. So it's pretty aggressive, sounds good. Drives good. And then on this engine in particular too, it has the, since this is the automatic version, it has the four cylinder shut off to where it only runs allegedly on four cylinders and shit, the gas mileage, I'll tell you what, it's pretty damn good for a car like this. This thing is better gas mileage than a Toyota Corolla. Or an older one at least. So that's it for that one. On to number three. Or so for number three, we're gonna get in the car and turn it on. Cause what I want to tell you about now is the exhaust sound. Pretty, yeah, the which is still related to the motor, but hey, it's separate. Cause some cars are quick and nice and fast, but they sound like shit. Number three is I like the way the exhaust sounds in this car. On this one. Like I said, I am being specific to my car in general because mine does have Crooks headers, mid pipe, and then the Chevy, I guess the MPP exhaust, the one you can switch it with the mode, mode select shit. Uh, mine is a base model, so I can't shut it off or make it louder. Mine just stays full open. Uh, the right select really just works as suspension and the way the power uh, delivers. I'm not too sure. I know in the manual cars, if you change it around, it'll actually give it a harder hit when you take off like that. But uh, um, I don't really notice that in this car. So mostly just suspension, I think, tune sport. But it's the sound on number three. So let's get some nice exhaust clips so y'all can see some of this uh, 
beautiful sound from this car. Just like smash it and let go, like just float it. Nice. <laughs> Alright, look at the front window. I'm just taking a picture, don't press the gas. <laughs> In the middle of making my video and they stopped by to check it out. Perfect timing though, I was just talking about the exhaust. Alright, so they just took off. How funny though, I was just talking about the exhaust. They came through, I was like, alright, you know, if I want to take video on here and you know, rev it up a little bit. So I got to get my exhaust clip at the same time. They got to enjoy the car a little bit, so that's always cool. Anyways, uh, on to number four. Okay, now for number four, it's something that's uh, small, you know. It's just look that thing that's cool how they add it in here, which is uh, this little display system. Which is button right here. It goes down. You got a nice compartment. Not too much space little no space but I think that's really cool extra little space they have there and it's hidden I don't know maybe a lot of people know about that maybe some people don't but it's just something that's cool that I like you should put my wallet in there like my ID I'm driving have my license in there I don't have to have it in my pocket okay so uh, you know I do end up being pulled off whatever I have to be here trying to reach in my pocket because especially me being bigger me my hand inside my pockets and shit it's kind of harder so just put it in there grab it real easy there you go uh, just, I don't know, whatever you want to put in there, some cash where you're driving around, pay for food, whatever you need. So that's cool. And then uh, that's it for number four. Now for time for number five. All right, and for number five, it's going to be the tachometer itself. I like how it, uh, the, what do you call it, the digital, the digital displays that you have on there. I'm just going to put it over here so I can switch it up real quick. Put it like that. So this way, let's go back up here. This way, it moves by the drive some mode, the drive select button, mode select. There's a mode select button. So if I twist it this way, it goes to tour mode. See the blue T pops up, changes the, the display, which is cool. I mean, this is nice, kind of like futuristic looking. That's the tour mode. After that. Have equal mode which shares the same uh, display setting but uh, it's supposed to let you get better gas mileage I don't know I do know though on tour mode it does a uh, shift easier usually on sport mode the way I normally drive um, it tends to hold back the shifts and have more of a higher RPM like when you're slowing down down shifts for you by itself kind of like getting it ready kind of want to take off but if you want to save your gas and, you know, drive a little more patient, I guess you could say, throw it in tour mode, it shifts real nice, real easy, it keeps RPMs low, don't burn too much gas. And then, I don't know what benefits you get out of track mode. I mean, besides launch control, you can use launch control if you haven't seen my video, put it right there. The launch control video, uh, the way they access launch control, you have to go to track mode, which does give this nicer display. Stuff they have on here, a lot of G's, all this stuff like that. Zero sixty timer, but 
on the streets, that shit, you can't get a good time. It just, and this tire is this type of car, it just spins, spins. So you can't really get a nice time on that. If you try that out some other time when you go to racetrack. Uh, but besides that, say you want to have it like the way uh, I had it on track more all the time, or you want to have it, say you like tour mode, you go over here to settings, you put link to drive mode, then you can either put link to drive, oh no, display theme is the uh, setting, link to drive is how I have it. You have a link to drive mode, which changes with this, or you could just straight up set it to where you like it, track mode, which is the RPM would move this way, sport mode, which is the one that had the analog look, and then you have the tour mode, which has that futuristic look. So it could be up to you, whatever you want to put. I usually like it on track. See, and it gives you display, or it gives you a how you say it, of it. It gives you an example of what it looks like, which is pretty cool because the last generation Corvette did not have any of this shit. See, there we go. I'm on sport mode, as you can see. But it stays in the track mode theme, which is how I like it. So that's it, guys. That's it. That's the five things I love slash like about this car. Uh, if anything that you guys in particular you see in this car, you guys like or you think I should have mentioned, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, same thing with uh, the dislike video. Go check that out if you haven't checked it out. I'll be linked here after. And check it on it. Whatever you think you guys would add that you don't like or something you might not like, I'll say you don't like the rap. Throw that in there. Comment. Whatever you, do, whatever you guys want to add. Whatever you guys want to say. Just throw it in there. Just let me know your feedback. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.